Hello, I am Sven from Reviews by Super Sven and today we will be looking at Paradise Killer. I will tell you a little bit about the game so you can get started with your investigation. Since this is a murder mystery, you will need to solve a murder. I will start a new investigation and tell you a little bit about how things work so you can get started with your own investigation. I will skip the cutscenes. You can all read this when you are going to play the game for yourself, which I really suge suggest you do, since this game is really amazing. Of course, I already know who did it. Well, let's just skip this. Hmm, another day in exile. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, as you can see, the graphics are really great. You can pick up items, you can look at this later in your menu. As you can see the graphics look really great. This is how many days it was since the investigator has been exiled, that's like many, many years. This is a demon and I'm really glad there's a smiley face there. Three million years, huh? Well, as you can see, you can make choices. Why? See the, the graphics uh, look really amazing. There's no water reflection, but that's okay. You can jump and collect some items. Well, this is your laptop, you will need this one. Because without starlight you cannot continue your investigation. May the silent goat walk with you. Yeah, you are going to hear some really weird things in this game. Don't worry about it, you'll get used to it. Not as weird as a person with three heads. Well, this is one of the many things you are going to do. You will need to hack your way into computers. I'm glad 
Great to be back. Ooh, the investigator is here. Got it. Now let's just go down. You can see that's the whole island. There are some smaller islands that you can also access. This whole area is filled with leads and characters. As you can see with this special skill you can uh, find them. The guy that looks dead over there is indeed a dead body. Let's just jump down. Whee! I wish I had a parachute. That didn't hurt one bit. As you can see, you will need to find upgrades or else you cannot hack this door. Yep. This is your menu. You will find inventory here, key items, upgrades, the timeline. This is the whole map. You cannot fast travel from the map, skins. This is music and your notes. Let's go to the island. I'm glad you're back, LD. Well, Starlight will tell you everything you need about your actors. I'm just going to skip this. You can all read it when you play the game yourself. Just skipping this. This is not really interesting. And you can read this yourself. Okay, well as you can see the Dutch is here. We need to talk to the Dutch. This is all information you need to, re to read to solve the case. I have already done. The investigator all read this already and I have already found the killer. So I won't need it. Raining. Huh. You can see, you can see Shinji again. He's basically everywhere. This is a blood crystal. You will need them um, for everything. You can see everyone here. You have no fall damage, which is really neat. See, there's another blood crystal. And another blood crystal. This is one of the leads that you can investigate. I won't show you because you are going to need to figure it out for yourself. You can also look into, look into doors, as you can see. And there are lots of secrets hidden, like this blood crystal. You will find many blood crystals and there are enough of them. You won't run out when you start buying items. Yes, they're also hidden in little cabinets. Let's take the elevator. Whee! As 
as you can see, there's the crest here. These are key items I talk about in the review. Uh, this is a tower and you can find some music here. You can change the music here. If I want that, I could remove this one and remove that one. And let's see how does it play. And now it starts playing. Oh, I'm glad to be back. And this is told you there are footbeds in the review. As you can see, now I have unlocked double jump. If you know where to look, you can unlock this very fast. If you don't, it can take a while. Look, another relic is found here. And here's another relic. And there's another blood crystal here. There are statues that you can look at. A computer that you can hack. And another relic found. There's one of the ghosts, he has a side quest. Here's another relic. Here's one of the characters you can interact with. Uh, look, these are all you can talk about at the moment. These will give you new leads, but you are going to find more and then have to talk to him a lot more. I won't do this, as you will need to do this yourself. As you can see, all these characters, you can see when they have new leads for you to follow up. The island may seem small from up above when we were falling, but actually the island's really large. And these altars can be opened with a blood crystal and they contain a new relic. Another blood crystal. There's been something going on here, he will need to investigate. These are bodies that you can investigate. There's another relic here. These are the four holy seals that you will need to open to investigate the crime scene. As you can see, blood crystals will be hiding everywhere. Let's just fall down here. Whee! And we come down under the building and we find another blood crystal hiding here. As you can see if you wander around a bit you can find a lot of items. And the world is really big and there's a lot to find. Including weird statues on the beach. I really loved playing this game and finding the suspect was really great to do and I really recommend this game to everyone. Oh, you will also get some incoming calls randomly. Uh, just going to skip this, you will have to do this yourself.
Oh, let's just walk there. These whole buildings are filled with items and loot and lots more. You can also find stuff in the sewers where more things are waiting for you. But there's something else I would like to show you now. But there's an incoming call. And this is about the shop. See, there are lots of items hiding everywhere. That's a key item, you will need it for a side quest. I suggest you collect all of them, because you are going to need them. Now we're going up here, I want to show you something. There, up there is another character to investigate. Now this is one of the most important footpaths. <laughs> Now we can meditate and I will show you what it does. As you can see all the secrets that are hiding on the island. In my in the save file I have collected them all. Yes, all of them. Look how many there are. These can be leads, these can be relics, crests, key items. Shinji, basically anything that is of importance is now marked. But you will need to find the footbed first. But this is just a small portion of the island. If you would do it on another, you would see just as many. And I've gone through a lot of trouble on my main save file to collect them all. As you can see, there are some leads and the suspects, crimes, the population. Things you need to do, timeline, the whole map. This game is just really good and I have really enjoyed it as well as my wife. I will make it a lot more complicated. This is a small video. I will hope you end your investigation well because the one you accuse will be executed if found guilty by the judge. So I wish you all the luck, you are going to need it to investigate. I enjoyed this game and I hope you will. Thank you very much for watching this video.